almost every country has their own version of chicken salad and that's because it is super easy to put together plus it allows you to use leftover chicken which i think is fabulous we like to make them into sandwiches or even tostadas and take them so we have something to eat after a good bike ride or we've done this when we go to the beach and we just don't feel like eating out we want something light that's gonna fill us up plus it does not hurt to learn a new recipe and i want to show you my version so you can mix and match i'm going to be using eight ounces of frozen corn and eight ounces of frozen peas combine them in a heat proof container and i'll take some very hot water and just pour it over the veggies that should do the trick now you can defrost them any way you want but this is how i like to do it just so much easier just set them aside you can forget about them so we are going to be cooking six ounces of carrots and eight ounces of gold potatoes all you have to do is medium dice them but first when it comes to carrots i do like to peel them i'm going to cut those ends off we don't need them and i do like to cut them in half first so that we have a good grasp and just medium dice it now the potatoes and try to keep them as even in size as possible. I don't like to peel the potatoes because that's where the fiber is. And why not take advantage of those great nutritional values? Those potatoes are gonna stay submerged in water, that way they don't turn brown. We have to cook these and for that I brought a generous amount of water to a boil. We're gonna season it well because that's gonna help season our veggies as well. The carrots need to get a head start because they do take longer to cook. After three minutes, add those potatoes. Keep this on a gentle simmer, medium low heat. Allow everything to cook until tender, not mushy. It's gonna take about, I'd say eight to 10 minutes. Meanwhile, let's dice up half of a red onion. I do like to use this one because it's sweeter in flavor as opposed to the yellow one. I'll be adding them into a very large bowl because it is what we're using to mix everything in. Now let's finally chop half of a bunch of cilantro and this was a large one. If you can only find small ones, do a whole one. Red onions and cilantro are really gonna add a boost of color. It's really gonna make the salad vibrant. These are perfect and tender. Let's turn off the heat and let's drain all of that water. I'm gonna drain that corn and the peas over these as well because I'm gonna run them through cold water so we can cool them down and stop that cooking process. We're gonna need four cups of already cooked shredded chicken. Now you can buy your own rotisserie chicken, which is what I do and just shred it apart. Cook it yourself with water, aromatics, salt, or you could even use leftover. Chicken goes into that large bowl along with the already cooled mixed veggies. Now it's important they're cooled. You do not wanna mix in hot or warm ingredients in here. It is time for the dressing and I kept them cold in the refrigerator. That's another thing, if you can keep most of those ingredients cold, do so because it's gonna make the chill time later on a lot shorter. We're gonna combine three quarters of a cup of mayo and this one is avocado oil based. It's my favorite and it tastes so good. Also do three quarters of a cup of crema mexicana or you could also use sour cream, two tablespoons of Dijon or yellow mustard. Let's zest a whole lime in there. A lot of people do not use zest just because they don't know about how amazing it is. It literally brings brightness to your dishes. Cut it in half and add two tablespoons of the juice in there which is typically one whole lime, but this one's super juicy, so I'm gonna add almost all of it. What I like about this lime hack is that it adds the perfect amount of tanginess, and it's gonna just brine everything, kind of give you that pickled jalapeno vibe, but without the spiciness. Do a teaspoon of kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper. Whisk it up, make sure it's well combined nice and creamy all those ingredients get to know each other nelson there was something you mentioned yesterday you liked specifically about this recipe is it the cabbage no it was the cotija cheese oh that's coming right up hold on let me show you first let's mix all of the ingredients with the dressing pour that over always own spatulas because they allowed you to get everything out of bowls literally 
the best tool ever. Look at that. To this, we're also going to do a quarter of a head of cabbage. I like to shred it thin because I want it to stay delicate. I don't want big chunks in there. And finally, Nelson's favorite ingredient, the cheese. I like to use cotija because it is salty, has a ton of flavor, and this is half a cup. You can do as much as you like. Just mix everything until it is well coated, completely combined. You do want to taste it. Add more salt if needed. This is great. Put this in the fridge and allow it to chill for a little while. It could take 20, 30 minutes. You could even leave it up to an hour. It just tastes better when it's cold. So let's do that. This one's already kind of cold because my ingredients were cold, but we're gonna give it some time. This is super simple, you guys. We're gonna enjoy them in a tostada, but you can have them in a sandwich, whichever way you prefer, with crackers, saltines. Oh, and I have to say, croissants are just amazing. And I love me some jalapeños on the side. So that's definitely gonna be part of my meal. Do your favorite hot sauce for me. It is Cholula, which has that tanginess, or Valentina, but I don't have any. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. It tastes like having a snack. That's the kind of satisfaction you get. So good. For me, it's a complete meal. <laughs> Where'd you get a snack from? <laughs> okay, your mm -hmm. most favorite snack. That's what I meant. This is so good. I can really taste that lime. So bright, so fresh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Everything is good. But I gotta say, the cheese just, I mean, it is crazy. <laughs> the cotija cheese really makes it different. You know, this is actually very popular in El Salvador as well. Mm. Not this way, not in tostadas. Well, at least I, not that I know of. Mm -hmm. I used to say that birthday celebrations, they will always do chicken salad sandwiches. I've heard the story. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Crazy story. Tell everybody. Now, if you go to a normal uh, birthday celebration, I mean, for the most part, you know, like people don't really have the means. So what they give you is um, chicken salad sandwiches. But we went to a sweet 15 one time from, you know, like people that, you know, have some dough. <laughs> <laughs> they had beef available. As the main course. As the main course, yes. Mm -hmm. But they also had chicken salad sandwiches. The people that were sitting on the front row. Meaning the most important people? The VIPs. <laughs> <laughs> they were the only ones that would get uh, beef and we got the chicken uh, salad sandwich. <laughs> so that means that you were on the lower class, non VIP section. Definitely. How old were you? I was probably seven, eight. <laughs> that means that you're, you, you grew up having chicken salad. Mm -hmm. Can't say the same thing about beef. Hope you try it and thank you guys. Keep cooking.